the prince has returned to royal duties having enjoyed a summer break with Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, and the couple's three children at the Isle of Scilly and Balmoral. Last night the Duke of Cambridge was joined by a host of celebrities in London for the inaugural awards ceremony of his Earthshot Prize, an environmental scheme aimed at finding new global technologies to tackle the climate crisis. Actors including Emma Watson, Emma Thompson and David Oyelowo joined William and Kate in handing out the awards, with £1 million going to each winner. William launched the Earthshot Prize last year through his charity The Royal Foundation, and plans to name five winners every year until 2030. In a pre-recorded video for the ceremony, the Duke of Cambridge said, We are alive in the most consequential time in human history. The actions we choose or choose not to take in the next 10 years will determine the fate of the planet for the next thousand. William, who is second in the line of succession, has become a more central figure in the firm in the past 18 months. However, when the prince enrolled at the University of St. Andrews as a student, an agreement was struck up between the media and the palace to leave him alone for the four years he was there. In a rare interview with Associated Press while a student, William spoke of his time at university and revealed a strange interaction he had had with a grandmother while walking through the Scottish town. William said, people, were, saying it's impossible to lead a normal life really, but actually up here and with the media out of it it's amazing how people get on with their lives and not bother you. I've had lots of kids come up and ask for my autograph, I've had grandmothers stop me and ask me if I know any good places to buy under. I was a bit stuck, there has been tension in the royal family since Harry and his wife Meghan Markle left the firm in January 2020. The acrimonious feeling between the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and senior royals worsened after the couple gave a tell-all CBS interview to Oprah Winfrey in March this year in which they were highly critical of royal life. In the interview with Associated Press from 2004, William discussed his close bond with his father Prince Charles, and brother Harry, though admitted that there would occasionally be big disagreements. He said, we get along really well, we're a very close family. We have disagreements obviously, as all families do, and when there are their big disagreements. But when it's happy times we have a really, it's just difficult getting all three of us in the same house at one point because father's really busy, Harry's traveling or whatever, and I'm up, it's just difficult but yeah, it's all. Upon leaving university William trained at Sandhurst before becoming a helicopter pilot with the RAF. He is now a full-time working royal and is a patron to over 30 charities and military organizations, including Tusk Trust, Centrepoint and London's Air Ambulance Charity. Most of the projects undertaken by his royal foundation revolve around conservation, mental health and emergency workers. In turn the Duke was critical of space tourism in a BBC newscast interview last week, and stressed great minds should be trying to repair this planet, not trying to find the next place to go and live. William also warned about a rise in climate anxiety among younger generations. The comments came after Hollywood actor William Shatner became the older person to go to space on Wednesday, as he blasted off aboard the Blue Origin rocket developed by Amazon founder Jeff Bezos.